At this program reign of hour, I'm inviting as many that are trusting God for open heavens in any areas of their lives, for healing, for deliverance, no matter the duration of that problem that you have been in. Reign of power through the power of the Holy Ghost will provide solution. I'm telling you, no matter that situation you are in, of May, Monday to Saturday, it's going to be 6 p.m. prompt. And on Sunday, the grand finale, we are going to be wrapping it up at 8.25 a.m. Come. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He Zagabuda. He Zagabuda. He Zagabuda. In the libro Zuzu Kadaba. In the libro Zuzu Kadaba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
God will hear us. And that night, God was laying the foundation that he will hear us. While I was preparing during my period of fasting, the first word I heard when I woke up, God said, son, I will hear you. I will answer you. Yesterday we saw it that God indeed answered us when we looked at the sent word. So I wanted to combine God with hear and the sent word. And today we shall be looking at the glory cloud of God. The glory cloud of God. And I pray for somebody here this evening. In the name of Jesus. That you will go with the glory cloud of God in the name of Jesus. My test is coming from Exodus chapter 40 verse 14. Exodus chapter 40. Are we there? Exodus 40. And we shall be looking at verse 34. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. When we talk about the glory cloud of God, we are talking about we talk about the cloud of God. Glory cloud of God, we are talking about God's glory being represented via his presence and power. I want you to bow down your head, Lord, tonight. I ask in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost, that you will release your glory cloud upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray that you also release your glory cloud as requested by your children in United Kingdom. As many that are watching me now via any social media handle, as many that are connected to this program. Father, may they experience your glory cloud tonight in the name of Jesus. Verse 35 of Exodus chapter 40 said, And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode therein and the glory of the filled the tabernacle. Somebody say the tabernacle. Moses, the representative God, a man that transcended the terrain of this earth, operating as a God. A day came that God descended upon the place of fellowship, upon the place of koinonia, that the presence was so strong that Moses could not enter. Because the tabernacle was filled. Those days God used to dwell in tabernacle, but in our present day, God dwells in the tabernacle of man. I want you to know that you are a living tabernacle. I have told a lot of you, I say, come with those who have earth challenges so that God can move, prove himself. You are a tabernacle of the living God. God lives in the inside of you. His glory tonight, if it has not been radiating, it must radiate in the name of Jesus. Moses did not enter 
into the tabernacle because God has taken over. I want you to rise up on your feet and say, my father, my father, take over my life with your presence and your power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to God. Oh Lord, take over my life. Take over my life. Take over my life. Take over my life. Oh Lord, my Father. Take over my life. Oh Lord, my Father. Take over my life. Take over my life. Say, my father, my father, tabernacle in my entire life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Tabernacle in my entire life. Oh God, my father, tabernacle, 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 a prata koradash. Let everything about my life be taken over by your presence. Be taken over by your power. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord God, my Father. Tabernacle. Tabernacle, Lord. Tabernacle, tabernacle. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you know of a truth, you pray this prayer and you are sure that God has taken over your life. Can I hear it louder? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. In Exodus chapter 33 from verse 12 Moses said unto the Lord, see that thou said unto me, bring up these people and thou hast not let me know whom thou will send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name. Thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if it is true I found grace in thy sight, show me now that way that I may know thee that I might find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, my presence will go with thee and I will give thee rest. And Moses said in verse 35, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not hence. Child of God is an error for you to journey this life without the presence of God. The scripture says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. When we talk about the cloud of the Almighty, we are talking about the presence and the power of God. When you see a man of God, a woman of God, a personality of the deity, you turn your addresses and you experience power. What you see is that that man is carrying the glory cloud. I don't want you to miss the glory cloud. You cannot be a carrier of this glory cloud and experience shame. You cannot carry God, the almighty God, and experience disgrace. We had the testimony of a man who said he didn't know what he was writing, and yet he was promoted. One of my daughters in the United States of America was writing an exam, and that exam, she told me, 
vividly. It was a medical exam and there, it was computerized. A system before you, in front of you, you're punching your answers and the system will mark it. And she said to me, Daddy, I didn't write anything. I didn't study anything, sorry. And we pray. And I pray a simple prayer. Father, may your presence and your power go ahead of her. And I went as far as telling God, Lord, you were the one that manipulated the houses of Jesus. You removed one house from here and made them to begin to look for it. By the time you were done with the life of Saul, you replaced him back and they saw it. As a father, enter into the system. That sister wrote the exam and she had A. Somebody that knows nothing. That is what the glory cloud of the almighty God can do. When the glory cloud of God is with you, even when you are the most ugliest person on earth, people see you as the most beautiful. Moses understood this. And he said, Lord, if you don't go with me, I will never go. No wonder in the journey of the wilderness, they succeeded before because in the day, the Lord went ahead of them as a cloud of pillar, a pillar cloud. And at night, he went with them as a cloud of fire. I pray for you tonight that beginning from now, men will begin to see the glory cloud of God in and around your life in the name of Jesus. Men will begin to see the fire cloud of God in and around your life in the name of Jesus. People of the living God. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 1 to 3. Second Chronicles chapter 1. Chapter 7, 1 to 3. Second Chronicles chapter 7, 1 to 3. After Moses, after King Solomon had sacrificed unto God and had built the, 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 the temple of the Lord, on the day they were opening the temple, they were sanctifying the temple. The Bible said, Second Chronicles chapter 7, 1 to 3, also first in First King chapter 8, verse 10 and 11, that even the priest, the priest, they could not enter the temple because the presence of God was there. The cloud of God's glory was also confirmed in Revelation chapter 15 verse 8. In all these, there are noticeable common denominators with the cloud of God. What are the things that you notice when we talk about the cloud of God? Number one, when we talk about the glory cloud of God, it symbolizes God's overwhelming presence. God's overwhelming presence. That is on the crown of a man's head to the sole of his feet. It is God. That's the reason why most times you see me in the healing and deliverance school, I will pull up my shoe and I will place my leg on anyone that is possessed of marine or witchcraft. They began to shout. Why? The glory cloud of God meeting the cloud of darkness. Darkness must give way. So when we talk about the glory cloud of God, first, it symbolizes the overwhelming presence of in 2015, when this ministry just started, I woke up one day and the Lord said to me, Son, go to a certain place. I went there. Put on my dresses. I went there. From there, he said, Now go straight and minister to me from the altar. 
And that day, it was a Monday, and we were having challenging your challenger. Some of you will remember this story. And God moved mightily, powerfully. By the time I was done, he said, go to the back of the pulpit. Because it was a small place. He said, look at your trouser. By the time I look at my trouser, from here down, this side and this side, the trouser has torn. How many of you were in the service? <laughs> the trousers are torn. He said, call your ministers. They came. I called mommy. Behind. I said, what are you doing? He said, daddy, the trouser is torn. I said, but when I was ministering, did you see it? He said, No. That is what the glory cloud of God can do. It covers your shame. When the glory cloud of God is about upon the life of a man, whatever represents but, but, but is removed. Number two. Thing I want you to know about the glory cloud of God is that before you can experience a glory cloud of God, it must be preceded with an open heaven. In Matthew chapter 3, from verse 13, we saw immediately Jesus step from River Jordan, the Bible said, and the heavens opened, and a dove representing the Holy Ghost descended upon him and God spoke clearly, saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Three. Hi. The glory of God, of God with a weight of his glory. And it comes in two dimensions. It comes in the dimension of destroying whatever has been holding you down. And it comes in the dimension of refining you. It comes to crush and send out all forms of challenges and afflictions in our lives. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17. And it also comes to replenish. Number four. There's a tripartite agreement between God's glory. What is the tripartite agreement? We have his presence. We have his power. And we have his grace. In essence, where there is God's glory, there will be his presence accompanied by his everlasting saving and sustaining grace. In our Bible reading, the Bible said, Moses, having experienced the presence of God, said, Lord, I will not leave nowhere. I will no longer continue this journey of life. That is the reason why when the glory of God will be in a place it will look as if when the cloud of God is in a place, it will look as if the man or woman is using charm. He's not using charm. I went to one of my children in the Lord. I was invited to bless the place. And I spoke over the place in agreement with my wife. Within a space of six months, I was called again because the business has grown according to the saint word. And the fellow has gotten on that location, very close to that one. I went there and I prayed. While I was there, I said, man, I see that. You should start looking for a warehouse. Another day I was called to come. While I was there, he said, because my father and the Lord is coming, I will not open. I saw this by myself. 
He says, when my father will leave, I will open shop. Why I parked, I looked from where she is to her shop. People were standing there. A lot of people. And they were calling her, Ma, we want to come and buy something. Not that other businesses are not opened. But the glory cloud of God is tabernacled in that business. That is the reason why, even if you are late, you will see, sir, what somebody said 5 a.m. in the morning. If this is happening in your life, can you shout a big hallelujah? hallelujah? If there's anything you must carry tonight, if you don't have it, if you have it, you will cry. I need it in a higher dimension. It is a glory cloud of God. My father and the Lord was in a plane one day. He was traveling. By reason of koinonia, you know I've been insisting on koinonia, which is an intimate relationship that is manifested with consistent fellowship with the Holy Ghost. All of a sudden, the pilot announced that the first engine of the plane has packed up. And that plane, there are some planes that carries two, some planes carry four. But that particular one was carrying two. Again, after a few times, the pilot announced, I'm sorry to inform you that the second engine just packed up. So first one has packed up, the second one is packing up. What do you think is next? Is to begin to look from the map. Where is the nearest sea? <laughs> and all the shark and whale. They'll be warming up. <laughs> My father and the Lord was here at Debo. He said, by the time he looked through the window, a mighty angel was waving to him. You cannot die when you carry the glory cloud of God. Anyhow. You can't just die like that. See, the angel was already under the plane. And he was waving to him. Since I heard that story, no matter the turbulence, the highest I would do, I speak in tongues. I close my eyes and begin to thank God. All of a sudden, the pilot announced again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to inform you that the engines have started working again. You cannot carry God and die like a chicken. That was why when David encountered Goliath, he was very confident because he knew it's not about him but all about God. Are you ready for this experience? Hear me? I am not touching anybody tonight. But God is going to touch you. The fifth thing you must know is that when God can turn to shame, as David confirmed in Psalm 4, verse 2. In Psalm chapter number 4, please open your Bible, Psalm 4. And it says, O oh, ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory to shame? The absence of God's glory cloud will make the life of a man to be full of shame. Stop going after Babalawo. False prophet. Baba, help me check him. All those Baba Gumen, hey, can I prophesy to you? Run away from them. My prayer for you tonight, for as many that understand, connected 
and are raising up their hands in standing unto God that every of your buried glory tonight shall resurrect in the name of Jesus and shall begin to manifest in the name of Jesus every attempt to turn your glory to shame by the power of darkness I command let them fail let them fall let them die in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. If you go through these scriptures, you will understand that there is a creative power in God's cloud of glory as this is manifested in Genesis 1, 2, and 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. I went to pray when my wife had some shops. We had about six shops at Trade Fair. And I was praying by reason of the sent forth word of God. I said in Revelation 3, 7, David, the king of David, that in the name of Jesus, by that key of David, by the authority of Jesus, when he close, no one can open. When he open, no one can close. I was just speaking, sending the fault. Do you know the big bad lock that locked the gate of the first shop? on his own, opened. That day, the says girl, I think it was Castina Plaza, and the back, she resigned. Said, because these are mysterious people. The padlock just opened. One day, during a period of wilderness, we used to use, there's this stove, cream, he used to buy it 1,000. And he now buy the rope 200. So, mommy was cooking rice. All of a sudden, kerosene finished. And she knew that I was very hungry. And she spoke into the stove. Say, stove, you will not dry. You will not try. Before my son and went on that journey to recharge the light, ordinarily the light would have gone off. You got there, it would have been in zero, zero, zero. But God kept the light. When you carry the glory cloud, and you know how to use the sent forth word. And you know that God will answer you. You become a branded authority that is being inspired and propelled by the author of authority. The authority of men no longer is no longer relevant. You saw today. Oh my God. The authority of men move one babalawo <laughs> into a courtroom by reason of the order of the land. For men that know God, they move him out in shame and disgrace. When the devil look at you in the face, tell the devil, today I kill you. When the devil threaten you, say, devil, come here. Come. You have three major jobs. To kill, to steal, and to destroy. And I know you are a rare lion. You are looking for who to devour. You can't devour me because the greater one, the one that made a public shame of you, it disgraced you, including that 
from verse 15. I made a public show of you and you know. So I'm not your mate. Come. Go to my village. Mention the name of the people. Go and destroy them. Kill them. Steal from them. Did you hear what I'm saying? A lady threatened my life one day. Because the lady was very powerful. Connect knows people. Despite all that God has used me to do. Under 24 hours. Everything. <laughs> scandal. The same lady came and said, Daddy, I am sorry. I am sorry. I came to hurt my legs. Hear me. Sometimes you know, I bind the devil, I cast you out. The devil is a man of authority. He understands the place of God in the position of God in the life of a believer. That is why in Jude 1 9, when Moses died, the devil was very happy to him. He thought by reason of the anger that was in Moses, that will carry Moses to hell. Not knowing that the mercy of God had already spoken. So by the time he got to that place, the word of God is deep. I begin to wonder. The scriptures say God is the one that buried Moses. And I don't understand. Maybe the body was still on the ground. And God wanted to show us a point. And then Jemichael was there. And Jemichael and Lucifer, and Jelusf they are the same in the hierarchy. And Jemichael has had now, until the appointed time, where he will be the one to single-handedly and cuff him deal with him. He has no such power in them. He said to Lucifer, the Lord rebuke you. So Satan understand the dimension of authority. So he shifted. So if you are a carrier of God's presence and glory, stop crying. Poverty has a name. That's why it's called poverty. Failure is a name. Disappointment is a name. Shame is a name. Indebtedness is a name. Sickness, different sickness, they have names. Are you hearing me? Some time ago, they told me in Europe, I want to do general tests. They said the only thing in your body is sugar. That was when I began to take Guinness the more. By the time they went to do another thing, they said your sugar is 78. Listen to me. Medical report is nothing to the name of Jesus. The Bible said, at the mentioning of the name Jesus, no matter the situation, it has a name. Mention the name, delay, Martha delay. Oh yeah, pow, in the name of Jesus. Pow, it will bow. As far as you know that you are saying, you know what you are saying. You are not in doubt. Job, James 1, 5 to 9. James 1 talks about a double-minded person. He's unstable in all his way. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15, 41 that one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star differed from another star in glory. The implication of this is that your glory cannot be limited by location as these creatures of God operate beyond the limitation of location. Also, since each of them has his own unique glory without affecting another person your unique glory cannot be affected by the glory of another person. Meanwhile, 
I want you to note this. What must I do for the glory of God tonight to manifest? Number one, live a life of holiness and righteousness. Proverbs 14 verse 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. In 1 Peter 1, 15 to 16, 1 Peter 5, 1, 15 to 16 tells us that our God is holy and as such, we too should be holy. Number two, intense atmosphere of worship. Intense atmosphere of worship. In Act of the Apostles, Act of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 24 to 34, Act of the Apostles, chapter 16, 24 to 34, tells us about Paul and Silas. They prayed, they sang, and what? The glory cloud of God came down. They that were jailed, they became the jailer. And cause were removed. Everything, the foundation of that prison were shaking. Tonight, I pray for you. That as you praise God, the glory of God will descend in Jesus' name. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, three great nations came against Jehoshaphat and Judah. What did they do? They went into an atmosphere of worship. God said, my glory will I not share with anyone. Even my praise. Isaiah 42 verse 8. God said, I won't send in Jamaica. I know you are good in war to go and destroy this people. God came by himself. And you know the rest of the story. They were victorious. Sacrificial giving. Sacrificial giving. King Solomon gave. And we know what happened. The glory of God came down. Number four, sincere prayer. Create a conducive atmosphere for God's glory as we saw in the life of Paul and Silas in Acts of the Apostles chapter 16 verse 24 to 34. In summary, a true child of God as you are, I will hold you tonight to intentionally and sincerely engage in the whole of these four things. Righteousness and holiness, let it become your lifestyle. Always engage in intensive worship. Always give sacrificially. When I talk about giving sacrificially, I'm talking about giving that will touch your finance. Stop giving God remnant. Stop giving God those condemned money. Give God that thing that will pain you. David said, I will not give God anything that does not cost me. When you give God sacrificially, you know what happened when Abraham gave his only begotten son, Isaac, and God came down. Engage in sincere prayer and you'll see the glory cloud of God. I pray for you that you walk in the glory cloud of God in the name of Jesus. His glory cloud will build protection around you in the name of Jesus. In conclusion, in Matthew 16, from verse 18, we saw the two phases, the two aspects of Peter. Peter began to speak and God Jesus said, this revelation was not from man, but by the tabernacling, the tabernacling of the Holy Ghost in you. But after a while, Satan took over Peter. And Jesus also recognized. He said, this is not Peter. He said, Satan, get thee behind me. Jesus knew when Peter changed his housing to that of Satan. 
and he began to glorify Satan his life. Hear me? You are a tripartite, just like God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You have the choice to either house God or house Satan. I want to ask you, are you asking God or you are asking Satan? Listen, in conclusion, your faith will make you own again. But, are you asking God or you are asking Satan? Rise up on your feet. Are you asking God or you are asking Satan? As the choir will be singing that same song of last night, open your heart. I'm going to experiment it. Open your heart. Are you hearing me? Open your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart. Rise up on your feet. If you are here and you know that presently you are housing Satan, can I see your hand up? You are housing Satan. If you are the type that is still proud, hang out, stubborn, rebellious, you are still stealing, you are still engaging in immorality, you are still lying, gossiping and slandering, it shows that you are housing Satan. Can I see your hand up? Can I see your hand up? Man, go see Tiamash. Satale Bragodos. Lord, we thank you. Please release yourself. Release yourself. I'm waiting for the choir. Release yourself. Please be connected. Some of my children in America, in UK, they have requested Glory Cloud to come to UK tonight. To come to America tonight. And I want to say tonight that the Glory Cloud will descend upon your house. As many that are watching me now, Please lay your hands on your on your tablet, your phones. Lay your hands on your television. The glory cloud of God will take over you there. And you will know of a truth. There is a prophet of God in the city of Lagos. All the way from the city of Rome. Open your mouth and talk to God. Please connect. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 
Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Every one of you watching me on social media, close your eyes. Follow the instructions. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Holy Spirit of God. As I blow your priest via this microphone, Daddy. Come upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Those in the Europe continent, in America continent, South, North America, those in Orient, those in Australia, those in the Middle East, those in Africa, and those that are here. I also pray, Lord, for your son in the United Kingdom and the Henry. Lord, let his abode where he is now. Let him experience this glory cloud. Stretch out your feet. I told you that your feet will work for you. I want every noise to stop. Holy Ghost, go ahead now. Beginning from the ministers. Let your glory cloud take over them. Take over everybody now. Mari Krusa. Yelia Satali Kaholi. Belekete brosotodash. Lord, move in your power. Holy Ghost, move now. Let your glory cloud fill this place. Manda crossotolia. Yes. Yes, that's a message. I am here in your midst. Rika Tudi Kabaha. Holy Ghost, begin to move now. Rebo Santa Libra. O Proseli Catolia. E Brequetega Libro. O Rosodo Galebra. E Cricotosa. Holy Ghost. Move. Everyone that are watching. Everyone that are here. Move into their lives. Move. Move. Move now. Rados. Inka Tolia. Lake is in the Sanaba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Indo Zidash. Rika do Brahalia. Let ears begin to open. Open in Jesus. Let eyes begin to open. Heal the sick now. Yes, sir. Heal the sick. Let the deaf Amen. begin to hear. The dumb speak, the blind see, mm. the lame walk, the mm. dead resurrect. Likrosata mm. Hilia. Nabra, 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 Nabra. I see three people now. Holy Ghost, move. Fire. Three people, three people, three people. Yes. He's moving now. He's moving. He's moving. The next round is going to be corrosive. Where are the three people? Holy Ghost, pick them out. Talaha. Holy Ghost, pick them out. Lay Catolia. Look at them. Bring them out. 
All she has to do me a favor and bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Where are the three people? Holy Ghost, bring them out. And Abraham. In Dalash. Need Dalash, need Dalash. Bring them out, bring them out. Where is the third person? Please bring them out. Le Brakatose, Ikalaba. Bring them out, bring them out. Them out, please. Le Barota, we are not here to play. Le Brasataya, Le Bosoto, Lord, let this one, let this one, let the Maya in Croso, a breaketeka na baba sita na mara, hele kete 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 kete, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take over them, take over them, take over them, take over them. Heli Kazada. Hello, what man do you be? Diamma, Enu da, Jehovah, Diamma. Hello, what man do you be? Diamma, Enu da, Something is about to open now. Diamma, 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 Hello, Hello, In this program, it's going to be a demonstration of his power. These are the three people the Lord will use tonight. In Nabadosha. Holy Ghost. Let this priest enter them now. Enter them. Take over them. Feed them. Load them. Load them from the crown of their head down to the sole of their feet. Fire, fire, fire. Turn them to living fire. These ones are tabernacling of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning all over them. You can see this one touching the leg all over. All over, all over, all over. All over, all over, all over. As I fire all over them. Holy Ghost. Hadabraha. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 4, he said, I am an oracle. I am not an orator. I am here to demonstrate the reign of God's power. Father, every of these three people, release. 
release. In Jesus' name we pray. Come. Come and touch this one. Who are those that want to experience power? Come, touch this one. Just touch any part of her. Touch any part. It's not about me. What I am preaching, you are seeing it. Where is the next person? Come. <laughs> Make sure you experience what they experience before you live there. Touch this one. Who again want to experience? You want to have an experience? You want to have an experience? Can I see your hand up? Come out. Hey, hey, hey. Yadash. Everyone touching now. You are going to catch fire. It's going to be Le Brokotosia. Le Keteke de Brush. This one has cash fire. Remain there, remain there, remain there. Go and touch. Go and touch, go and touch. Who again? Who is there? You young man. Aha, aha. Le Keteke de Brush. Le Kadabra Kadabush. Yes. Eh, eh, eh. There is, there is fire all over the place now. There's fire everywhere. The fire is burning. As many that are touching them, the fire is burning. It's not about me anymore. It's about the glory cloud. Let the glory cloud take over everyone now. Let it take over everyone. Let it take over everyone in Kataya. Who is there? You want to experience what they are experiencing? Hey, da brother, ya. Hey, da brother, ya. Hey, da brother, ya. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Fire. There is power. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Where is this one? You go and take off that one. You come. You come. You come. Aha. Come. Aha. You go and touch. Touch. Touch anybody now. Anyone you are touching, you will catch the fire. You will catch the fire. <laughs> you catch the fire. Aha. 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 Zete Brahaya. Zete Brahaya. Zete Brahaya. Alabrata. This is where I'm going to end. The glory cloud of God. The glory cloud of God. The glory cloud of God. Yale Katodia. Hebrekete Gelebrahu. Holy Ghost. As many that are watching, Lord, let your presence mix with your power and your grace. Oh, yeah, come upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch out your hands towards me, everybody. Yanakwa. Just stretch out your hands towards the altar. I am just. Is there anyone here that's, that needs me to touch them? You are trusting God for healing, for deliverance. Can, you, can I see your hand up? If you are online, please touch the screen. 
Father, I stretch forth my hand upon as many that are watching. Can you please bring that camera closer? As many that are watching. Lord, I decree healing. I decree deliverance. I decree breakthrough. Open heavens. Open door. Upon these ones. In the name of Jesus. Stretch out your hands, everyone. As I stretch out my hands towards you, I want you to shout Jesus. You are going to shout him seven times. Catch us, please be at alert. I am not touching anybody. God is the one touching you. At the count of one, two, three, three, please, you go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? One, two, three, go. Jesus. One. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Ghost, take over now. Jesus. With your glory cloud. Jesus. That's five. Jesus. That's six. Jesus. Glory cloud of God. I release you upon this ones in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, begin to experience it. Begin to experience. Begin to experience. Begin to experience. Let the cloud of God's presence, cloud of God's power, grace and glory begin to walk. Begin to walk. I release it. I release it. Rekete brokoto. Let the glory cloud of God, let the heavens open, let the floodgate of God open now. Open, 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 open. In the name of Jesus, command you to open, 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 open. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to round up. My ministration proper will start tomorrow. I will hear it. Today, I want you to manifest your faith. I want three people that know that you have eventually carried his presence like never before. Can you come forward? You are very sure. You are very sure. Come forward. Bring that old lady, she has carried it. You know you have carried it. Come forward. Come forward. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Where are the three people? Where's the third one? I know everybody has carried it. The Bible says, Out of Moses, God transferred to Joshua. Out of Elijah, God transferred to Elijah. Starting from here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Please come and be touching. Yes. Ushers, please direct them. I want you to see. Touch, touch the dress. Touch any part of her dress. Any part of her dress. Where are the cashers? Make sure you get something. Don't just go. I said we are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, let your rain. Let your rain. Let it fall. Let it fall. On oh, we are in. We are in your presence. Let it fall. Let it 
Draw the other lady by yourself. Come and touch. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, touch, touch. Touch. Bring her. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. This is the reign of God's power. I have no idea of what is happening. It's all of the Holy Ghost. Where are the people? Look at fire. Look at fire burning there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, me. Oh, burn the floodgates. In abundance. I was your rain. I am legacy. Oh, burn the floodgates. In abundance. upon the choristers now. The instrumentalists. Rest of them. Yes. Take over every one of them. Take over them. Take over them. Take over them. Mana. Reba. Soa. As you came down. Kabroto. Soa. Egedegede. Lord. Take over. Yes. Take over them. The glory cloud. The glory cloud. Take over, take over, take over them, take over them. Yes, feel them, 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 feel them. This is the festival of power, of miracles, signs, and wonders. Lord, I thank you. Father, my father, this is. The only prayer you are praying, say, My Father, Tabernacle all over me now. The witches will bow and run away. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Father, I prophesy 
in the name of Jesus Christ that you are taking over everyone here. You are taking over them. 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 Remove shame from their lives. Replace with your glory. Remove shame. Remove shame. Remove sickness, disease, infirmity, infection, poverty. Remove. Disappointment and failure. Remove. Lack and want. Remove. Retrogression, demotion. Remove. In the name of Jesus. Marital delay. Financial delay. Any kind of delay. Come to an end. Tonight. Come to an end. Tonight. Come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. In Jesus' name we pray. Everywhere be silent now. Ears of people want to hope for ears. Spiritual ears. Everywhere be silent. Ears. As many that want to start hearing God like never before. Lord, let their ears open now. Yes. Receive. 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 Even those of you online, receive. Every one of you here, receive. Receive. Yes. <laughs> let priest, 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 priest. Yes. Enter. Enter. Reba. Reba Katoa. Reba Katoa. Reba Katoa. Reba Katoa. Yes. I see two people. Your ears are. Yeah. Can you please offer as I welcome the kindness Uzo. blessed tonight. Let's be on our feet. Praise the Lord! Please, let's be on our feet. Let's package our offering. It's offering time. Let's give our Thanksgiving offering. I believe all of us, we are blessed tonight. With that understanding, let's package our offering. It's Thanksgiving offering. Let's package it. Begin to pray over it. Begin to pray over your offering. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you once again. We appreciate you. We give you all the glory. Daddy, we thank you for today, oh God. We thank you for your blessing that you have released for every one of us tonight. Daddy, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, for this token that we give to you tonight, Daddy, accept it in our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. But as many that want to give to you, but they did not have, oh Lord, Father, provide for them in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that give to you, oh God, Daddy, use this offering to bless them back in multiple fold in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover the offering with the blood of Jesus. Daddy, use it for the growth of your church in the mighty name of Jesus. And let your people be blessed in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we pray.
At this program reign of hour, I'm inviting as many that are trusting God for open heavens in any areas of their life, for healing, for deliverance, no matter the duration of that problem that you are believing. Reign of power through the power of the Holy Ghost will provide solution. I'm challenging you to come with every dead situation you are in, bringing any healing case, bringing any problem, bring them to God. At this seven days, divine